Hi all, Andy from Solar Reviews again. This time I wanted to talk to you about uh, choosing the best brand of solar panels for your project. Before we go into brands, there's also a choice of solar panel cell technology. So each one of these little areas in here is a cell. And on this solar panel over here, each one of these is a cell. So this happens to be an LG solar panel, and this is a 60 cell solar panel. This one over here to my right happens to be a sun power solar panel, and it's a 104 cell uh, panel. Sun power use a slightly different technology. Um, both of these panels are monocrystalline panels, and it was once the case there was some discussion about whether mono or polycrystalline was better. The truth is now, monocrystalline are slightly better and they're no, not materially more expensive, I should say. They're slightly one or two cents a watt more expensive, but almost the same. And so it was once the case that people went for polycrystalline panels because they're a lot cheaper than monocrystalline, but nowadays there's very little cost difference and these panels usually are one or two percent more efficient than, you know, the run of the mill polycrystalline panel. So I would say now that perhaps 18 out of 20 of the top selling solar panels in residential jobs in America would be monocrystalline panels. So that's not really a choice you have to worry about anymore because chances are everybody that quotes you is going to offer you a monocrystalline panel. So my take on the whole best solar panel for your project argument is this. There are 15 or so really good brands of solar panels. By tier one, we mean that they're large, they've been manufacturing for at least five years. They are a large company with visible financials so that we can see the company has the assets and the capitalization and the profitability to keep going. Um, and, you know, they're the sort of the, the main things, you know, that they're both an excellent quality manufacturer, but also they're financially sound. What we have here, we have an LG and SunPower, and I've chosen to dig some old um, LG and SunPower um, panels out of the shed to show you these, um, because LG, SunPower and Panasonic really are what we would refer to in the solar industry as, you know, sort of super premium panels in the way that they're priced. Now they've been able to price that way because they are slightly more efficient than the run of the mill tier one panels that come uh, below them. So in terms of the packing order. Um, however, they're substantially more expensive. So both LG, Panasonic and SunPower all charge at the wholesale level almost double what a really good brand of Chinese tier one panel um, does. So what we have in the background, this is actually my hobby ranch in Australia. What we have in the background here is Canadian solar panels, which is a tier one, uh, they're called Canadian, but they're actually mainly a Chinese owned company uh, and mainly Chinese manufactured product, but a very, very good solar panel. But the difference is you know, these panels from LG and SunPower, I mean, SunPower has a top panel efficiency of their best panel of about 22.7%, I think, and LG's probably around 2021. 20, You're probably looking at about 19.5% panel efficiency for something like a Canadian Solar or a Trina or a Longy or a GCL, all of which are very large, um, very highly automated solar, ma solar manufacturers but they are all, at the wholesale level at least, substantially cheaper. In the tier one, you've got the SunPower, the Panasonic, the LGs. They are what most people will be quoting you because they're what most people have heard of and that's what most customers are looking for. Really, there's another eight or so brands that if you can get them at a substantially cheaper price, they're absolutely worth considering. And so in those, I would you know, list highly amongst those the Canadian Solars, the Trinas, the Longy, the GCLs, the JA Solar, uh, Renault Solar, um, the Hyundai Solar Panels, uh, also Q-Cells, 
Uh, Tesla uses the Q-cells. Um, Tesla don't actually make the, uh, the solar panels that they install on residential homes. If you go to our website and if you Google solarreviews.com best solar panel brands, there's a list, a table on our website of the top 15 or so tier one brands and there's tables ranked by cheapest, by most efficient panels and so you can basically see all the data on all the different brands. So really it's not worth going to a tier two or three brand because the really good tier one, some of the really good tier one panels are quite cheap. Uh, they're mainly Chinese made but they have very highly automated and very high quality solar manufacturing facilities, probably the best in the world. Having said that, if you're the type of person that just is happy to spend a little bit more to know they're getting absolute top shelf gear, then, you know, Panasonic, uh, LG, SunPower, you know, absolutely fantastic solar panels. So you'd be very unlikely to have any problems indeed with any of the panels in the top 15 or so um, tier one brands. So check out um, solarreviews.com best solar panels and that'll give you the list of all of them. In terms of inverters, it's a very much a quicker uh, story if you're in a state or area because of rapid shutdown um, rules where you need to use a micro inverter or a, an optimizer, then really Solar Edge and Enphase are probably the leaders in those. Tigo perhaps. If you are in a situation where you can use a string inverter, um, like a ground mount system or something like that. I personally prefer string inverters, both optimizers and micro inverters. There's electronics behind every panel and with a string inverter, there's just one inverter for a whole string of panels. So uh, I like string inverters because you're putting a lot less electronics on a job. A lot less electronics means a lot less can go wrong. If you can use a string inverter, then you know I would absolutely stick to a Fronius or an SMA, German made, uh, quality inverters, a lot of software in inverters, and so um, other brands really haven't been as reliable as, as those have. Probably Fronius would be my favourite. So that's, there's really a much smaller choice in inverters, um, and I don't recommend you going beyond that small group. Much larger choice with panels and any of those top 15 brands and you'll be fine.